hello and welcome to Media Academy Online. In my last filmmaking video, you would have seen me using an app called Filmic Pro. And this is an app which I recently started using for that video. So if you want to see the difference you can get by simply using a different app, make sure you watch that video here, which will show you the differences between the two apps. Just before I begin, this isn't sponsored. We're not big enough to get sponsorship. Unless you want to sponsor us, then uh, hit us up and uh, you can sponsor us. Downloading an app such as Filmic Pro will give your phone higher specialized settings which all filmmakers use on a daily basis. But it gives you all the functionality in one of these. Phone call. Hey, how are you going? I'm good, thank you. And in this video, I'll go through that app and run through all of the settings and functionality within it. So to do that, we'll set up a small scene just like in my last video with this. So with that said, uh, let's get started with the, with the plan. In the video. So once we open up the app, we can see there's a few things. First of all, we can see there is our sound levels here. However, usually when you're making a video using a phone like this, you don't want to use the internal audio. For any production, I always suggest use external audio only. So for the most part, you can ignore this section. Then when we move over, we can see we have our color display. And here we can choose our color temperature of the scene. So as you can see, there's already some presets set here and it's automatically going to select both the tint and the color temperature that's needed for each one of those settings. Otherwise, we can just click here on the AWB, which is auto white balance. In most cases, you can set this to auto white balance. Now, if we look up here, we can see we've got a circle and a square. So if I click on the circle, we can see that it's going to pull up this bar here, which allows me to change the exposure and the ISO of our scene. If you click away, then we can also select this square by holding it down. This gives us our focus, and this you can do while recording. So if you want to start out of focus and pull focus into the image, you can. Or you can click on the zoom, which will give us your zoom settings. Just be aware that you can sometimes end up with digital zooms if you're not careful. So always try and make sure that you're staying to the native size of each lens. If I click away, then we can continue on with our settings. Clicking on this button down here will pull up those controls that I showed you before. Clicking on the A here will give us some additional features, such as our zebras and a bunch of other settings, which can help you make sure that your scene is in focus. If I click on this settings button here, this is where we can pull up all sorts of settings. For example, we've got resolution. Now this is where we can change things like our aspect ratio. But keep in mind, this isn't actually changing necessarily the aspect ratio of the lens itself. It is just cropping into the scene. So I always tend to leave it on 16 by nine and do all of the cropping in post where I can choose exactly the framing I want after the fact. Below that, we can change our resolution. So I've got on HD or we can go 3K, 4K, all the way down to standard def. I'm gonna leave mine on HD. The next is our quality settings. So if we set it to economy, that's going to be a smaller bit rate than normal. We can go to Apple standard, which is the normal standard that Apple would record all their footage in. Or we can keep going to filmic quality and filmic extreme, which gives us the full amount of quality possible in this phone. And then if we want, we can also choose the codec, HEVC. Clicking out of that, then we can choose our frame rate. Now, because I'm here in Australia and we use PAL, I leave mine on 25. But if you want, you can change yours to 24, 30, all the way up to 240. Then we can select our audio. We can select which mic we're going to be using, whether we use the back, front, or the bottom. Then we can choose the audio codec type. If you've got an additional external microphone, you can select that here. Or if you prefer just to have the video only, you can select that by toggling that on. We've also got automatic gain correction, which will change the audio levels as needed for the scene. I'm going to leave those as is. Then we can move over here to device. If we want to save it to our normal camera roll on the phone, we can select that. Otherwise it'll save into this app's own camera roll, which is built into the app. We can select remote control if we want to be able to remotely view the image on another device. And there's a bunch of other settings, which you can also look at. We've got presets, so if we'd like to save a preset with the settings I've created. We can do that here. 
we can select the CMS, which we can select content management, and we can actually add in some additional information, which can help you in the future when you're going through your shots. Things like production scene and track can be selected here. We can select hardware, so we can share the control of this to other devices, for instance, the Osmo Mobile and a bunch of other things. If we wanted to do things like add an anamorphic adapter, we can do that with two different types available. As well as a 35 mm adapter, We've got First Light, which is another one of their apps, and then we've got some more useful settings. For instance, we can turn off stabilization if you prefer, but that means every small bump you can clearly see. We can select our camera. For instance, we've got the ultra wide, wide, tally, and then zoom. Even if you wanted to, you can click on selfie, and that'll actually film what you're recording. If you've got a phone that has different cameras such as mine, you'll have similar settings to this. If yours doesn't have as many, you won't be able to have all of these options available to you. You can also turn on torch, which will turn on the front light to help illuminate your scene. However, this is not a clean light and is only useful if you're using it for artistic reasons. Then we can turn on our guides, which will give us our third grids here. To record, we can click on this button here, which will automatically start recording our scene. And so now we're recording. We can see our scenes here, so if I scroll through, we can see some scenes I've filmed in the past. When you play back this, it does give us some additional features, but most of the time, you're just going to want to send it to yourself. So you can do that by airdropping it straight to your computer, which is very easy if you're using a Mac with an iPhone. Otherwise, in order to get it to your computer, you'll have to manually send it to yourself. And if I click here, we can choose some different histographs and other graphs, which can help us, and then click all the way back to our time code so that's all of the options available. So make sure that you can control all of these settings manually to create a better image for your film. So that was Filmic Pro on my iPhone. This app is available on both Android and Apple, so it doesn't really matter what device you got. All it does is unlock all of the manual controls so you can choose what settings you like. If you're using any of the native apps on these devices, they will make a lot of those decisions for you which is fine for most people who want to press record and go. But for people like us, filmmakers, having those manual settings allows us to unlock the settings which we have available on higher end specialty cameras. So if you're using your phone to create short films or just want to be able to create better footage on the go, downloading an app like this will give you those controls. So with that said, make sure you do me a solid like, subscribe, ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching Mini Academy Online. If you'd like to explore more about content, click on this or click on that. Like and subscribe, thumbs up, ring bells, do a dance, sing a song, drink a hot cup of tea or coffee, and I'll see you in the next one.